Go ahead, Empress. I was just affirming at New York Territory that we refer, affirm the recording of this session. I am Light Tajiri Bay. I affirm the recording uh, and publishing of 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 these uh, these proceedings because we know that it's going to help someone help our nation and and it's going to assist others. Anyone else with a vote, either yay or nay? And we, we would request that everyone present vote. Earl, his law, Jews, I affirm. Earl, I affirm. His law, I affirm. Whenever I obey, I affirm. Islam, Norway, and Elisa, New Israel, Bay, I affirm. Islam. Islam, love, Ibn Allah, Bay, New York Territory, I affirm. Thank you so much, uh, nobles. Uh, Islam. Islam, nobility. Chief Justice Howard, a Victor Laura Eels, the Bay, in Tampa Territory, Land of Flowers, X Real, Florida. Islam, I affirm. Islam. Islam. Nathaniel Bruce Sherry Bay, New York Territory, I affirm. Islam. Thank you, nobility. Islam, inshallah, El, New York Territory, I affirm. Islam. Thank you. Islam, Brother Mutaz, right? It Bay, New York Territory, Greece of National Association, Morsha Fist, Islam, I affirm. Islam, thank you, nobility. Islam, Rosetta El, Khalifa Territory, I affirm. Islam, thank you. So uh, let me bring up some information regarding domiciles, and and this is something that that we all must do because this is going to be the uh, the process by which the county, which is we know we're the county, but we notify the subjects in the office of county will uh, have for the record proper conveyance of of the properties. We've begun doing this out here because we were shown this by the ancestors just since we've been on break here. Uh, we knew that this existed. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on the screen. Um, let's see. Okay, and I'm probably going to go ahead and get my Islam Empress. Islam, Islam. Angelica Vecta Bay at New York Territory, Mother Chief Justice. I had a dream about a document today in my uh, in my um, resting period, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and here we are being shown and iridited on the document. Islam. Empress. Ask me, am I surprised? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. So, it, and this is in in the interest uh, of of Justice Dawood and and Empress Shasha, uh, and all the Moors uh, who have claimed uh, parties and domiciles and things of that nature, and the ancestors have been taking us step by step on how to do that. So we'll go ahead and, and, and show this uh, this step. Uh, and let me just show you where I got this from. Because um, remember in, in, in our previous Congress, we were discussing, um, we were discussing where the county is concerned, where you could go on to the tax assessor website and pull up information. And then we began using the information, uh, in fact, converting the record, rever doing a reversion of the state on the record, because we know that's what was done in, uh, in, uh, in the enactment in 1933, where supposed birth certificates and all of these things, all these records were 
were hypothecated or there was an attempt at subrogation in the enactment. So uh, let me just show you where this, this information comes from. So that we will know when you go on to, uh, and, and again, this is for all domiciles, all structures, all buildings. So what we did is we, we went to the, the tax assessor, quote unquote, website, and we drill all the way down on a specific place. Here, let's drill down on this one. Uh, that might be a little bit too big. Because again, Justice Dawu, his his he and, and all Moors are going to have to do this for their domicile. When you go and drill down onto the domiciles, uh, and we'll just pick a place, a random place. <laughs> Um, these websites show where these places are. Uh, let's see, that's probably, so let's just pick uh, a space or a place so that we can show you what has to be done and how to do it. When you look at the parcels, just a moment and you click on a specific parcel, some information will come up on the parcel viewer. Still, okay. It is not letting, it's not pulling up the property report. Well, no worries. Uh, we'll just show the document anyway. So everyone is going to have to um, create. In fact, let me just show you the one with the proper letterhead on here. And again, Justice Dawood and everyone there are, is going to have to do the same documentation. For their domiciles. Islam. Islam nobility. As you're working into this, can you just explain the function or the benefit of this. Okay, so I was trying to show that to you, and the computer is not really wanting to <laughs> to, to co the the uh, mouse does not want to cooperate. Whenever you go to uh, a domicile um, on the county website in your, your the tax assessor website, and you're looking up a property to see who is it that has the title deed and things of that nature? Um, it will show you the title deed, who, how, how the property was conveyed. So who owned it before and who's owning it now? Uh, let me see if, uh, if I can pull that up. If it'll, uh, if it'll pull that up. The purpose is so that, see, here's the thing. Um, title deeds that people put on the public record only sh they they show how much someone has paid for the domicile, what the market value is, who they got it from, and who so the grantor and the grantee and and all of that that that's what it shows so that the county is satisfied the county does not need to see banking information because they don't care about banking information. 
The county cares about the fees that they get from the banking information. So on this trust deed right here, um, and this is one that we that we did for Washington Revenue. It's a it's a it's a deed to a property. In the past, the deed to the property. So you can order our refrigerator. In the past, the deeds to property used to be conveyed from, let's say, John Doe to Jane and Bill Johnson um, from one to the next down at the county. And the ones who put that in from, who did that in from, who did the conveying of the property would let the county know how much everything was, who the new owners are and all of that, how much they paid for it, and then the county would get their fees, their assessor fees, from the amount that was paid for the property, which is down here. So, for example, here, right here in this section, it shows that there's a assessed value for the property. This is a 10, it's really a, a little bit more than that, but 10 million assessed uh, for one parcel, 3 million plus assessed for another parcel, and these are all adjoining parcels. And so what happens is the county will get their part down here. The county, when there's a sale, the, the county will pull 10% of the sale amount or 1% or for their fees, unless it's a government or the state buying the property or taking the property with eminent domain, then the county doesn't get anything. They just get a recording fee. Okay. These must be the county, the subjects in the office of county, or actually not even the subjects, the system, the county recording systems at all the territories must have at least one of these deeds on file for every property. The reason being is because that's where the trust was established, which is where uh, evictions and foreclosures and things of that nature, anytime you're dealing with evictions and foreclosures, there is a trust deed that's being acted upon. And so we rebutted all of the fake trust deeds, and now we, we must replace them with the true, real trust deeds. However, and this is, this is really important, this is key right here. Remember when the actor that was previously acting as Pope re reversed his fraudulent claim of this doctrine of discovery? Remember when that happened? See, people don't realize just, some people realize the magnitude of it, but for each one of us, for each more, what that really meant is that we're not getting the property from anyone. It's sitting here waiting for us to claim it. That's what that repealing of the quote-unquote Doctrine of Discovery Act was. It's stating that, okay, they don't have any more claims. They're not even enacting claims but someone has to start claiming the properties, okay? They can't enact any claims because they don't have anything to pay with. Their commercial system is done. That's why they kept talking about a CBDC because they knew the fiat system was finished. So with the repealing of that, now when we put claim onto property, it's like we just discovered this property. It's, 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 sitting here and we must claim it. That's why when, when these documents are, are when the county, the, when the county system is notified that a property has been claimed, we don't even have to put a, grant, a grantor and a grantee. That system is done because a grantor would indicate that we're getting it from someone. But with the repealing of the doctrine of discovery, no one's claiming it. 
That's what that really meant. That's why it was so huge. Because when they first came here, they act, they were they were pretending like no one was here and everything they saw was up for grabs. So they enacted a doctrine of discovery, saying when we say we discovered something, then we just claim it. And if once we claim it, when really their claiming was fraudulent records based on what we had already put in place. So all we're doing is looking at the record and saying, okay, they're not here anymore. It's like they've been raptured away. Okay, that's what that doctrine of discovery enactment was about, the, re the removing of it. That means there is no claim on anything. I don't care if you see somebody in the kitchen cooking. There's no claims on it if it hasn't been claimed by the Moors. And so what we're doing is letting the county know, because see, that's where the land come. That that's where the land records are held by our county, because we're the county. Okay, so we let our county system know that yes, we have properly recorded and accounted for this property. We've 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 given it an assessed value. And again, all of these this this information is already on these fake uh, property reports, and that's probably why the ancestors are not letting these reports come up, is because they're not real anyway. But when we do look at them, uh, we see this information that we restate, and then we don't have a grantor and a grantee because we're granting it to ourselves, so we just have a claim, uh, uh, one who has properly claimed it. We claim by eminent domain, which is at the top of this document up here at the top. So we used the date that the land was created. It's a land creation number, United States eminent domain. And again, United States for us is the creditor that we created. We actually created that. We put the documentation on the public record for our living United States because we were the states united long before any any fakes were claiming that. And so what we're doing is claiming it by gov by standing. We're, we're we're the government. We're the standing authority on the land. National security. In order to secure everything, we must properly claim it. And the Fifth Amendment takings. In other words. We're not really taking it from anybody because we created it. However, we there that's that capitalism piece where we we you know we have the right to either capitalize or not capitalize where the property is concerned in commerce. And so this real estate assize tax affidavit, uh, United States public trust deed. So we're claiming this property where the public trust is concerned because it's, it's used for public commerce. So we just took information from the from what we saw from the draft that we saw. Uh, this assize statement is not taxed. The United States has full ownership. The United States is the people who are the United States. Uh, it says United States Code Subsection 211, uh, 6 United States Code, Subsection 211, established customs includes gold coins, silver coins, and nationally autographed Moorish sovereign delarium gold receipts, or nationally, nationally endorsed fiduciary money for all money exchanges at all times. The United States General Services bond number for Safeway is 94301-9135, dated uh, April 8, 2024. So this property is, uh, we're calling it a Safeway store. That's, that's what we're calling it, a Safeway store. It's a, it's a store. Um, and the same thing for properties. So again, we're here for to to add to to, sh to share some further information regarding Moors who are being taken and evicted and foreclosures and things of that nature. Those things will stop first when all contracts are terminated, all presumed contracts, okay? They're presumed contracts. And then uh, when, we put, when we put something in, in its place. 
Okay. Um, Islam? Islam nobility. Okay, okay quick, quick question. question. You just you mentioned, mentioned uh, uh, your, I guess, doing this particular document, you made mention of fiduciary money. Yes. As a means of uh, facilitating the transaction or yes. doing that public record. Now, when you're talking about the acquisition of a property, fiduciary money is, uh, is that really the appropriate way to do that? And the reason I ask is mm -hmm. because fiduciary money we have in increments of $100 bills, and you're talking a 400000 a 500 or a $1 million. That's a lot of fiduciary documents. Money. Thank you for that. So can yeah, you thank you for that. that? Yes, Versus thank you for that. Go ahead. That means that I need to be clearer on what we're stating here. This, this is Because this is a store, we're stating that the store will only accept these types of money for the for groceries and things of that nature because it's a it's a grocery chain. So we're not using it to to buy anything. We're getting it. Uh, we're the United States is is invoking eminent domain, which means there's no there's no payment. Yes, there's an assessed value, but we're not paying it because there's no one to 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 pay for it. You know what I'm saying? We're not getting it from anyone. This is doctrine for discovery. We discovered a building. It's here, and we're claiming that building and everything in it. And there's there's not going to be uh, an exchange in that way. That's why this document is so important, because we're not buying it from anyone. So fiduciary money. Gold coins, silver coins, and Morris Sovereign Delarium gold receipts will be used on the premises. So maybe I'm maybe I should add that in there. Establish customs for commerce on the premises. Include uh, on the premises or on the property. Includes gold coins, silver coins nationally autograph more so, so if there are moors who have fiduciary money and see we for moors moors really do they should be using more sovereign delarium or gold and silver they should be uh the only reason that fiduciary money was included is because we brought that up and voted on it that it would be able to be used but it, it still has to be autographed by the moors it still has to be autographed by us if fiduciary money is going to be used. Islam. Islam. So, uh, Tony Um So fiduciary money is going to be used. Now that's going to be, is that going to be, uh, it's going to be that what we went over, we created, not what we're going to burn. Correct. What we're going to burn, we burn. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... And We're not speaking using fiat that, at all. All right. Okay, good, good. Because uh, I have a merchant mm -hmm. who has agreed to uh, – I talked to them about uh, if the dollar crashes, would you be interested in swapping out dollar for dollar dollariums? Mm -hmm. And then we burn it outside, and they love it. Yeah. So yeah. we sat down, had a meeting. Um, I made some dollariums with in imprintation and certain stamps on them, signed it. Uh, just one of each denomination from one to one hundred, mm -hmm. and then uh, and we were having some discussion about maybe five hundred for people who wanted to come. But I was like, you know, we start where we start. It gets bigger and yeah. stuff because what yeah. we would do is announce uh, there are certain merchants you can go and when the dollar crashes you can go over to blah 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 and they have and then they swap it out. Mm -hmm. um, still haven't worked out all those details, but uh, these two people they're Sikhs and they're talking to two or three other grocery distributors around here. So, so yeah. we'll keep you posted on That's what I've been working on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Nobility. They all see it coming. I spoke to some some who were wearing head headdress the same way, way we were when we were speaking to them about that same thing. So everyone is aware. They know we're here and all of that. So um, just keep keep working on it. It's It's a process. Here's the thing, we we cannot be denied because it's our land. So 
those things are not, they're not just an overnight thing because this is permanent. This is permanent change that we're making. So keep working on it, nobility. We send our highest honors and all of our energies regarding that to you. Uh, and we say Islam, indeed. Many, right. many, 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 many more are were, and and even those who are not Moors are hearing about Delarium in large numbers, and they're putting it forth too. They're starting to look into it, and they like what they're seeing, and they're putting it forth too. So it's a wrap on that. It's just let's keep going. Affirmed. Yeah. Islam. So I have a question. Uh, number two. Right. Would it state the same information concerning a, a structure of a domicile? Uh, it can state the same uh, information for a domicile, that, that only gold, silver, uh, more sovereign delarium gold receipts and fiduciary money will be uh, used. And, and I wouldn't even put fiduciary money just because fiduciary money can, can sometimes, some people still think fiduciary money is, that, is fiat, but it's not. Because mm-hmm. we actually burn the fiat and and use the real fiduciary money. That's realer than fiat. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Even though they look similar. <clears throat> Islam. So um, we had quite a few meetings this day. Islam. Islam, the day for communications. So one of the things I had brought up in the meeting concerning this matter, and we had spoke about it for the Bureau for Land Management. Right, mm-hmm. and how um, and Justice Nathaniel looked up on and searched it, and the Bureau of Land Management is one of the offices that deal with allodial land titles. <clears throat> and so, um, so I had put it out there on the table um, that we could take um, each one send their allodial land titles via email, and then have um, one people take, depending on how many can come together and do the uh, postmaster duties and mm-hmm. hand deliver it to the hand headquarters at um, Washington District for Columbia Territory. Mm-hmm. Um, because we have been also discussing the um, difficulties concerning our deposits Mm-hmm. at the post offices mm-hmm. and um and such. So that was one of the things that we had mentioned earlier today in one of our meetings. Mm-hmm. So um we can perforate and effectuate our um our processes. Mm-hmm. So um because we had spoke about the Bureau for Land Management and um how they they correlate with um the land. That's and, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, system. The because it's not it's not people. It's not people. It's a, it's just a system. Yes, yeah, the system. Islam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Islam. Islam. Uh, what you, what you're looking at there is a uh, a. It's funny you brought up BLM because two days ago I got a big package from my uh, tribe tribal leader uh, mm-hmm. from BLM. That's mm-hmm. what this is. Fifty page document with. Uh, the original pictures of the land grant says we each get 136 acres mm-hmm. uh, from the Louisiana purchase. Mm-hmm. So, let's go. It's on. It's on. Islam. So, with that being stated, Justice Tonus, be sure to restate everything that's given. Be sure to restate it. Uh, never, ever, ever trust what you receive from someone else. You must restate everything. Uh, just a suggestion. We can't tell sovereigns what to do, but we highly, strongly suggest. That you, ahead of you. <laughs> Islam. Islam. Um, Empress Angel, um, ba- so regarding properties and domiciles and things, uh, go to the tax assessor website and find the trustee. 
and restate the trust deed to, that conveys the property. So at number one, every, all the mores are the original creditors, trustors, fiduciaries, attorney with facts. There's so much I could show you uh, regarding the draft records on the website because we know they're not real. They're just it's just suggested drafts on how to do it, uh, how to restate it. Um, about even I even did research on properties around here, and 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 because we we we've been claiming and claiming and claiming uh, the properties around here and and. Certain ones knew how each 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 one around here knew what to put in their documentation. For example, there were some who you would call Indians because they're from India, uh, or or you know Pacific Islanders because they're from the Pacific Islands, and so on and so forth. They knew to put in their paperwork on their deed that they were the trustor, T-R-U-S-T-O-R, not trustee, the trustor. The trustor is the one who 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 uh, originates the trust for the property instead of someone else claiming to originate the trust, to start the trust. Um, but then the modern ones around just did what modern ones do. They are doing things. They were they were enacting things according to their status, which is a tenant. So, where Justice Dawood is con is concerned, those property that property it it must be properly stated at the county uh, office, which is our office. Those are our offices, so that the system recognizes that he is the fiduciary, the trustor, the creditor uh, for that property. Now, with the properties here, we're just stating that the people own the properties, which means that that's the people in the womb who, have, who, are not, who have not come here yet and the people that are here now, which are the original indigenous people. And that's why we say United States for America, which is shortened uh, United States, and it's not really shortened. The United States is the is the is the company, and then the United States for America is a trust. Overall, it's a trust above the corporate level. It's high above the corporate level or the company level. So. Every property should have this, and then you sign at the bottom. It's a one-page document, but for some places, it's, it's, you know, 30 pages or 50 pages. We don't have to do 30 or 50 pages because we're not buying the property from anyone. We're claiming it and, and, and possessing it and owning it by eminent domain. And then what we're going to do with the property is, is, is um, open the property up once it's it's prepared and ready because most and most of them are are pretty much ready already uh, to let the public come in and use public money, which is gold, silver, more sovereign delarium gold receipts, uh, and fiduciary money. They come in and they use that to to do their exchanges in the properties. So the counties must have these documents on the public record because they had they they were enacting having them for each and every property everywhere everywhere even over in china they changed the the quote unquote names of the places to be counties over there everywhere they they divided everything up in their enactment and called it what they call it here to align everything with here who knew they had counties in China and counties in Africa and counties in all these other places? So this is something that all Moors will 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 it, it is it is highly
suggested that this be done as soon as possible and the county notified. And what we did was uh, here the affidavit procedure cost was $10. So we peeled off 10, more sovereign delarium, stamped them, embossed them, sealed them, autographed them, and sent them with this document to our system, uh, the county system. And that's just a, that's just to receive it in and make sure that the system says what we say it says. Islam. Islam nobility. Uh, do we have access to this that's been restated? Uh, my screen is not working properly. I can barely see it, but uh, I know it's good. Uh, um, if possible. Yes. Uh, I will put, uh, I will place a copy, uh, but it will be, a, it will be a copy that's completed already, signed and autographed because, let me just see where that copy is, the one that I willed to show you. Let's see, is this the scanned one? Nope, it's not the scanned one. Uh, I, I I'll put it under the I'll put it under the the video. Uh, we did scan one in, and and sent it off uh, to where it needed to go to our system. So. Um, We'll put one under, and really it wouldn't, see, I don't know what your assessor title uh, trust deeds look like. Yours may look different from these. However, it wouldn't hurt that all of ours look the same, but you're still going to have to look it up to see what the, to restate the information. It will still need to be looked up. Uh, this is, Form 84, in fact, here's what I'll do. Let's see if we can find this. Uh, let's see. Mm. County form zero, I think it's zero, 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 0001. Let's see, zero, 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 0001A. This is what it is. This is the form right here. Ah, perfect. So uh, uh, you could just restate this form right here. Uh, excise tax. This again, this is for sales and transfers of property. Um, I'll provide this link and then you can restate the, the document. Patient affidavit. Yeah, this is this is the form right here. But see, all we did was it's a again, it's a it's a one page deal unless there's several grantors and grantees and things of that nature. Uh, this one is six pages, but but it's only the first page because the other pages are additional things. Yeah. Islam, you know I'm in the land of flowers, so. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Well, there again, these these are the same everywhere in terms of um, the information on there, and we didn't call it that. We we call it it's a real estate assize tax affidavit, United States Public right. Trustee. So when you go into the website and you're looking at the enactment, they call it. 
and you and you see you'll see uh, something in the property information called um, title deed or trust deed or it'll be usually a special warranty deed. And when you look at the special warranty deed, this is what that is. This is what comes up for the county. It's going to be the same information all across the land. So I'll put the link to this document in the chat and I'll and and then you can restate the document or just a moment. Uh, just one moment. And I did not put that in the chat. I don't know who put that in the chat. <laughs> I don't even know how they know it. Uh, well, yeah, I know how they know. Uh, let's see. How does a fake <laughs> how they even find out we have so um whatever is at land of flowers, Justice Howard, in terms of special warranty deeds or deeds that convey property back and forth, that is what you will restate. And if you can't find any of that, you can always use this document that we have here. The, second, I, the second and third pages of these uh, were just signatures. And, and in many cases, the grantor and the grantee had the same signature. Islam. Islam, um, this is my way. Um, I am in the uh, Tampa, Florida territory. I was Islam. actually doing some research on the uh, recorder website, mm -hmm. and um, Nobility, um, if you would go onto the recorder website, you will see that they actually have a list of those different types of deeds. They have the instructions for it. Then they have a um, how to fill it out. Then they have actual pictures of those enacted deeds being on there that we can restate. I did download some of them. Yeah. And the yeah. special warranty deed, I did remember seeing that on there. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for that, Empress, because that is exactly what I'm speaking of. That is exactly what I'm speaking of. And here's the thing. We don't really even, it's not even necessary to know all of those deeds because our deed is the superior. Now, some people might say, well, we have a lodial title. We don't need these. Actually, the system does. The system does. And so that's why, for example, there are Moors who've done lots of paperwork regarding their property, but the system must know, must know, must see and recognize that information. That's what stops the system from spitting things out that say there's someone there who doesn't belong there. It's our system. We're the ones who designed the system to keep down confusion. Islam, because it's a lawful and legal deed that's being um, activated. Yes. We, we are the deed, and we, because deed is an action. Deed is not necessarily what we've been, you know, taught and programmed to think, and because we've been, you know, hurt and, you know, trauma with deeds and things, and we know that when we read it, it's the fine print, that take it away, but when we restate the deed, we are taking over all deed that is action, and the action is what the lawful and legal people do, and when we do that and we put it into our system, then the system activates our deeds, and then everything is now in, in circulation. Yes, and see, here's the thing. 
The ancestors are so wise about what they have done with us because they had us to go ahead and do a lodial title first. Never. Before we got to this step, they had us do a lodial title to all the land first, then to individual spaces and places and domiciles and things. And then they had, they said, okay, now, now get you some money. Okay, we have our own money. And then they said, okay, now. Start doing it. This this is the next step. So they've been giving it to us line upon line and precept upon precept. Everything that our Grand Sheik Taj Tariq Bey has taught us about reversion of a state, we we did that lawfully because see our Grand Sheik ta- taught us the lawful things, which that had to come first. We had to do that stuff first. It must have been a lodial title comes. It supersedes all of this legal stuff that we're doing. That's However, wrong. the system, the legal system, then stops fakes from pretending like they have a claim or some interest in anything. So we must honor our legal system by doing the proper and competent legal process. Islam, Emperor. Yes, and with that stated, I uh, have been, well, we have been um, restating the definitions and putting it proper competently. And allodial from the first Black's Laws edition um, is stated, as I stated, free, not hold to any lord or superior, owned without obligation or vassalage or fettery, the opposite of feudal. Islam. 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 Uh, in uh, thank you for that, Empress. All uh, again, competent to receive such a vast estate is necessary. The estate is so vast that not only were was it necessary to establish the lawful systems, which is nation, statehood, uh, the and so on and so forth, the nation and nationhood, statehood international recognition, and we have all of that. We are all of that. Um, And then the legal system underneath the law system. And so what we put here at the top, real estate, a size tax affidavit, United States Public Trustee. This word, a size, we talked about this at Congress previously, but I I will to bring that word up once again. Here it is in Black's Law Dictionary. Because see, this has everything to do with the land and proper claiming thereof as well. A size, an ancient species of court consisting of a certain number of men, usually 12, who were summoned together to try a disputed cause performing the functions of a jury, except that they gave a verdict from their own investigation and knowledge, and not a, not even upon evidence adduced. From the fact that they sat together, that's a sitio, they were called the assize court. That's really what that is. And then what the assize court does, it says in modern English law, the name assizes or assees, is given to the court time or place where the judges of assize and nisi priests who are sent by special commission from the crown, and we know we're the crown, on circuits through the kingdom, proceed to take indictments and try such disputed causes, uh, issuing out of the courts at Westminster as are then ready for trial with the assistance of a jury from the particular county. The particular county, okay, anything reduced to a certainty in respect to time, number, quantity, quality, weight, measure, etc. cetera. So uh, there are certain words that are standing out here. And of course, we, we, we restate the definition according to our will because that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, and this, this document gives time, place, quantity, quality, weight, measure, et cetera, where the land is concerned. There's a, an assessed value. 
There's the value of any sales or anything of that nature. And then here it says a species of writ or real action, real action, said to have been invented by Glanville, uh, uh, Chief Justice to Henry II, and having for its object to determine the right of possession of land and to recover the possession. The whole proceedings in court upon a writ of assize, the verdict or finding of the jury upon such a writ. We have already, we, we are judge, jury, and executor for all causes for action. So we've already done this. The womb men and the nobles have already done this. We voted on it. Uh, and, and any land that the assize court sees, once the assize court has already agreed and adjudicated on that land, then proper claiming of it must be done. So, again, these trust deeds, because this is this is a this is a literal deed to the land, and some of the land we're claiming as public trust land, and really most of it, almost all of it, actually. And do we have some that we're claiming as our own private domain? Well, we haven't done that yet. I can tell you that because even even our domicile is is it belongs to the people first, but we have eminent dominion for the domicile, personal in eminent dominion or private or sovereign eminent dominion rather for for so that's how we're doing it. We're still doing it this same way, uh but we put a little claimer or claim in there that states that the fiduciary or the specific fiduciary has imminent dominion here. So, but everything else, for example, this place, we didn't put that claimer there. We we state that we're the fiduciary uh, and we autograph as fiduciary and King County Treasurer. So our system receives the money for the for the property and then we, we autograph at both places. So instead of having a grantor and grantee, you actually have a fiduciary and a treasurer that are autographing these. And where sovereigns are concerned, they can be the same, one and the same, because we, we hold all of those titles and offices. And then as more and more are coming in, uh, then we can start conveying the properties to them uh, in terms of where they will to reside, to not reside, where they will to, to domicile. And then uh, they can begin assisting with the work. We have even domiciles that we have, have proclaimed here. Uh, we chose vacant ones um, that are currently vacant because we looked at the records and we saw all types of fraud and craziness going on where, you know, people were claiming things and there was not a bank record in sight. No, they're not even using fiat because they know it's no good. So they can put any number on there or they were putting any number on, on the documents, on these conveyance documents, uh, the, the, the fake ones. just because until someone rebuts it until we rebut it because they already know we're rebutting things when you start looking at the documentation so again where justice Dawood is concerned and all moors where evictions and foreclosures and things are concerned or not not those but pro, but uh property where property is concerned the county records because we're the county bank as well so the county records are going to be important also where foreclosures are concerned and evictions i looked at the definition of the word foreclosure 
let's just take a look at it for just a moment because I saw something in the definition that uh, I would like to point out and just share with you. Because I see a process there. Uh, that we that that those that we all should should have done, really, or 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 will will it'll be important to do. Let's go back. Islam, I got it in the first edition. What does it say? It says, to shut out, to bar, used of the process of destroying an equity or redemption existing in a motograph or, and that's foreclose. And then foreclosure is a process in chancery by which all further right existing in a motographer to redeem the estate is defeated and lost to him. And the estate becomes the absolute property of the mortgagee, being applicable when the mortgage or has forfeited his estate by non-payment of the money due on the mortgage at the time appointed, but still retains the equity of redemption. Okay, as I looked at that, thank you, Empress. As I looked at that, first of all, we can see that it is it is absolutely written in the most incompetent legalese ever. Oof, thank you for saying that. <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. But the reason that it doesn't make sense is because we all were supposed to initiate foreclosure on mortgages. Because, see, it's not even talking about property. It's talking about mortgages. A mortgage is separate from property. Separate. All it doesn't. A, a mortgage really doesn't have anything to do with the property. What the mortgage really is is a financial contract or agreement between two persons, not two people, but two persons, who have decided to do so because one of them claimed ownership of a property that they really don't have. So where foreclosure is concerned, and this is something because even in Webster's uh, 1828 dictionary, everyone who has, who was uh, previously involved where mortgages are concerned, they must actually, so for example, uh, Empress Angel, if, you know, let's say you had uh, before you woke up, you got a mortgage, and then you um, and then you woke up and realized that 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 a, a mortgage is is not what it was supposed to be, because you're not the person that they say you are. It is actually even according to this definition, it is the right and the law for the one who really actually does own the property to enact, not enact, to provoke the foreclosure. We are supposed to be foreclosing on mortgage companies, not the other way around. We're supposed to be removing their right or of claim to the domicile, not the other way around. Even where evictions are concerned, because, see, those companies don't have any redemptive properties. You must be living to redeem. They don't have any equity because you must be living to claim equity. 
So each one who who where where you you got a mortgage in your sleep and now you're awake, you know who you are, you must actually provoke. You must say we're foreclosing on that company where this property is concerned. We're foreclosing on them. Foreclosure in Webster's 1828 dictionary or to foreclose It says to deprive of the right to redeem a mortgage when regular payments have not been kept up. To take away the right to redeem a mortgage. doesn't say anything about property. It's, it's only talking about mortgages. It's not even, it, the word property is not even in that definition. It's wrong. Um, if I may, also add to the words that we're stating is eviction. Yes. Eviction in First Laws, Black Laws Dictionary, it says, dispossession by process of law. Yes. The act of depriving a person of the possession of lands which he has held in pursuance to the judgment of a court. Right? And yes. so it, it's been restated um, as I... Uh, and restated it. And um, on that note, um, once completed, I my desire and will, I will to um, share with the people um, the restatements that is law. Because, you know, when the word is defined, the law is established. And so once the law is established, then the actions come forth. And... Um, so um the word eviction as restated goodness i i didn't go in order according to <laughs> according to alphabetic i went in accordance to um subject content and so <laughs> cuz it started off with the um the word governor and um by no surprise governor is a title for nobility and the word governor, it even states that it's um, it's a title of nobility, the chief executor in each state and territories. And this is my restated version. Well, we the stated restated version for the states united United States. Also concerning verb, um, the chief magistrate. And it stated that in the first edition, and it said before it was a chief magistrate. And because we are the chief magistrates, it remains. Um, for some colonies, provinces, and dependencies among and in other nations. And so I got digging and looked up dependency because that is also referring to territory, so on and so forth. Um, but here we go, eviction, as it's restated. Dispossession by process of law. The act of depriving a person of possession of land which he, he has held in pursuance of the law, judgment of a court. The dispossession must be by a judgment of law. If otherwise, it is an ouster. The term in action, turning a tenant of land out of possession, either by re-entry or by the legal and proceedings in such action of ejectment. Well, it says here, in this is Black's Law 4th edition, it says, but the necessity of legal process was long ago abandoned in England. And in this country also, it is settled that there need not be a legal process, which is a bunch of malarkey. That doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It said that too in first, but I got rid of that. <laughs> but, you know, it, it it said that just because there was no 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 living party in the enactment to rebut an eviction. That's mm -hmm. why doing everything by court action is so important. And so even with evictions, everyone who who is is supposedly renting must evict the one claiming it because they're the law. 
the moors who are in apartments must evict the ones claiming to be the landlord. Because it, it, it states right here, it says, originally and technically, the dispossession must be by judgment of law. Uh, a land, so, again, they must evict those that are claiming to own a place simply because they don't, uh, whoever has the court has the place. That's the issue. Islam, that part. Whoever has the court has the place. It says here, any actual entry or and dispossession adversely and lawfully made under paramount title will be an eviction. Under paramount title. And who has paramount title? That's what we just showed you. This is part of the title process. A deed is part of the title process. The title process, a lodial title, is the lawful process. That means that that's, that's like earthwide. A lodial title tells all other nations and states that the land belongs to the, to, to the title holder. Now, we have the title to the whole earth, so that's not even a thing, really. But when it comes to domiciles and structures and buildings, a lodial title is first. We all put that on trust on the public record. And then the legal process happens. I was listening to uh, a uh, someone recently on on video who doesn't claim more status, but this this individual is from Nigeria, and he came here, and he applied for a ten million dollar you know grant or something like that for program. They gave him the ten million just out of out of because he has a church, they gave him the ten million because again the people that are members of his church he's using them as capital, and he was saying even today that the reason that he could come to America quote unquote and do these things even while Americans quote unquote are here and can't do the same thing is because Americans quote unquote won't take the time to do the processes. I couldn't even be mad at them. I couldn't even be mad because I've heard uh, those from other places say those things, those types of things about the processes. Not not really, uh, and, and again, he wasn't saying it to be malicious, but we were not taught the processes. We had to learn them. We had to remember them, which is what we've done. That's what this is all about. Take the time to do the deeds. See, yes, a lodial title comes first. And, and even before a lodial title, proper nationality comes first. And no, you're not going to claim to be black and do any of that. You, you must claim your more status. Now, I know some people don't agree with that. Some say that they can claim to be Indians, and some claim that they, you know, listen, uh, all we can say is, you know, the, those, those, those titles, Indian and, uh, and uh, Hebrew, Israelite, and things like that, listen, we honor your sovereign status. However, uh, those are not on treaties. Proper Indian is not on treaty because proper Indians wouldn't have a treaty here. They would have a treaty in India. Just like proper Al Moroccans and Americans have treaty here. Moors, Al Moroccan. So affirmed Islam. So, you know, I couldn't even be mad at the preacher for saying what he said because, you know, and, and, and you know, even that $10 million, he going to have to walk that back because they want it back. They're going to want that back. Uh, they just gave it to him long enough for him to say that on the record so that we would get the message. And we got it. Uh, fortunately, he is of the original indigenous 
bloodline for Nigeria and for Africa. And, you know, they came here. All, uh, many of them came here knowing the system and wasn't going to tell us nothing. They knew the legal, quote, unquote, system. But it wasn't their job to teach us how to use, how to govern our vast estate. It's our job to do that. So uh, where Justice Dawood is concerned and, uh, and, and, and every other more who has, has, has been through the enactment of an eviction or a foreclosure, those are things that we initiate first. We must do that first. We must initiate evictions and foreclosures. And every time I say that, that little, that little sound comes, we, we initiate that because a mortgage is not even valid. It's not valid. And we initiate it, but we must we must also put something in its place, which is a proper exchange on the public record. This these these deeds illustrate and illuminate proper commercial procedure, proper exchange on the public record. So Islam. Islam nobility. I, I, you know, I hate interrupting the flow. Go ahead. And but in, in the prior conference that we all were having, because we was on two conferences before we got on the main conference here, mm-hmm. well, I, I made a statement. The statement was, we're the provost marshals. Right? Yes. And from our office, provost marshal office, we're going to send communication to the subjects in their office as provost marshals. I just want to make sure that's affirmed and, and overstood with everyone listening. Mm-hmm. Well, um, we hear what you're stating, nobility. I'm compelled. And this is our reference to Dawood. I, I, yes, Islam. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. I am compelled to say this with regard to those types of actions. I'm compelled to say it. I can't keep quiet about it. A provost marshal cannot move if proper process on the public record is not observed. It must be. So if Morris had contracts previously that they're not continuously working to do away with, to terminate, and then replace with the proper, restated from their proper authority. A provost marshal does not have the authority to do anything until those issues are resolved. While we're waiting for those, while we're, while we're learning and remembering, the ancestors will give us grace as we do that when we're determined not to go back when it's convenient. And I'm not saying Justice Dawood did that. I'm saying that for the, for the benefit and notification of everyone. See, people, people want to army up and arm up before they get the processes done properly on the public record. And, you know, I know some people kind of get upset about when we make those types of statements, but those types of statements are, are true. They're being proven true. They're being proven true. So that's not just me saying that. That's being proven to be the truth that as we're doing what we're doing, the ancestors will provide protection for us. And even Justice Dawood and other Moors who've been uh, tested where POW camps are concerned, we all came out of that. We all came out of it with all of our limbs working and our and, and, and healthy. 
we all came out of it healthy and well. We must get the proper process in place or a provost marshal is not doesn't have the authority to move. And I'll just say that because, see, those types of statements are, you know, a lot of people get behind that and say, yeah, let's do that. But when we look at the process that was used and we see that there are still little places that that need to be upgraded and tightened up and put together, we we must that must be done if there's a hole in the ship if there's a hole in the ship getting 30 extra men to row won't help the ship is still going down okay and i'm not saying anyone's ship is going down because we know our ships are not going down but your time regarding Justice Dawood would actually be better suited in if you're going to do documentation, go to the county records where he is, look up the address, see what documentation is there, and restate that documentation and send it. That would actually be be, be more effective than a provost marshal move. I get what the provost marshal move is about. But even when we were doing our demonstrations, our POW demonstrations, nothing anyone said could have gotten us out of that. It had to be based on what we said and what we did. We're aware of that. And so, you know, you are sovereign. I can't tell you what to do. But I can state that We're time sensitive because there's really no such thing as a time sensitive document for us. But where time management is concerned, it is best even to get our own houses in order, Justice Howard. Yeah, you can you can spend time doing documentation and paperwork to save others, but ultimately they must save themselves. So save yourself first. And then show everybody how you did it is a, is better a better use of time. That's 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 what we've been doing. Every step we take, that's what we've been doing. Saving ourselves first, step by step, and then showing everyone this is what we did, this is how we did it, and that's why we're here. So that's just a suggestion, Noble Howard, and 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 we get that you um where that energy is coming from we get it we we have the same energy but we had to redirect it you know we would love to just go and kick doors open and and get the moors out we would love to do that however that is not what the ancestors have given us to do with our energy our energy is to be directed on proper process so they can't move in the first place because the only thing they act on is paper first Guns and badges don't come unless there's some paper that says they can come. And that paper is always, always, always coming from us. That's a fact. Whether it be by paper or by phone calls. And that's why Moore's, you know, picking up the phone and speaking to, to fraud. And, and answering to them as if they have some authority. And I'm not saying anyone's doing that. I'm saying that's how Moors get in trouble sometimes, even after all the documentation. And then we have a system here that we must honor. And when our system is honored, even as we're go being tested, because there's testing going on, I could tell you about some tests that we're going, we're, that, we're, that we're just obliterating right now. It has to be done, and, and we can't rush the process. We have to actually do the study and, and know the process, know the system. Same thing with, with, with any Moors who, who are doing POW demonstrations. We still must stand, even if that's the test. 
If the test is how do you stand regarding POW demonstrations, if that's the test, we do court action. We know that. So, you know, we honor your energy, you know, uh, Justice Howard. We honor it. Islam. 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 Um, can you open the call for sister, for Empress Ra? She's trying to get in. Islam. Yes. You know, uh, and again, we can't tell you. We can't tell you what to do, so if you feel led to do uh, a demonstration uh, 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 such as that, then, you know, of course, we're going to send our energy, uh, our success energy. Is on. So, um, Greetings. Great rising, Empress. Islam. Islam. So um, are there any questions, comments, wisdom regarding, uh, let's see, regarding anything that we stated thus far? And also, what documentation would you uh, would you all like to put forth regarding Justice Dawood? If, um, if you may, um, can you just zoom out so we can see the whole document so we can screen capture it, please, screenshot? Oh, it's, there we are. Thank you. So then I can take it and then I will blow up and up my end. Yes, um, Thank and you, these, these work uh all across the land. We ha we have the logo on our on our original one. We have the logo that says Washington Revenue on there. Because the ones on the uh website say Washington State Department of Revenue, which is again that's not a thing. It doesn't exist. So we restated the logo and put put it in blue on our final document. And then we again, as always, we use Delarium for everything that we're doing. We use Delarium. So Um, are there any questions, comments, wisdom, or, or, or how, how you all would like to proceed if, you know, where Justice Dawood is concerned? We can do the same thing for him that we did for him for Shasha, if, if, if that be, you know, if you feel that appropriate. Or something different if you all have decided on something different. Just yeah. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Previous meeting with Phoenix. Uh, my brother the is about to speak on that. Yeah, the right. habeas corpus, there was more to it. Uh, yeah, I got to go back and listen to the video. You too. You mentioned habeas corpus, then you said there's more to it, I think you recall. It was, it was a habeas capite et corpus. Capite et corpus. Yeah, we're not calling for a body that's, that's without a head. Uh, Justice Dawood yes. is a head of state also, as we all are. Mm -hmm. And yes. so, so we, we, want craft, we want to craft the proper verbiage as it should be crafted. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Earl said that, I'm not sure. I've been on the move doing so many things. Uh, who crafted that? I need to, I can actually use that for Dawood. You can. Yes. Because they're in the same situation. They were kidnapped as well. Oh, well, they're not kids. But but nobility. <laughs> right. 
Uh, and I'm just missing. They were taking. They were taking. Yeah. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's all about who they are and who who it is that's pretending to hold them. Yes. Yes. Fulton. Uh, Fulton County. That's what they call themselves. Fulton County Marshal. Yes. yes. Uh, department. I've never heard of Fulton County Marshal. There's Me really either, to the first time. Yeah. 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 Some. Yeah. Of course not. It's not. This they, is. They, this, this okay. is um, Star Rock. I am um, here. Um, I um, was able to get the phone charged enough to come on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Welcome, Empress. Thank you. So any information about where he is, uh, the address, so that the address can be properly stated about where he is and and things given to, um, is it Noble Phoenix or Justice Howard who's going to do the document or someone someone else that's going to do the document for him? Uh, we're going to do it collectively, myself and Phoenix. We both are working on that. And anyone else that have any additional information He's that learned. could be helpful. Mm-hmm. Feel free to add my appellation to the document as well uh, because I know that I have faith that you all are properly, uh, will properly, properly, competently stay at Persona Jurisdiction. Because they are to be held at personam jurisdiction, and you know what 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 uh, subject matter has nothing to do with it. It's it's always at at identity. Identity. When when I properly see. identified. Um, when properly identified and staying at personam jurisdiction, then it nullifies everything else when every when the parties are properly identified. Meaning, it's David Blackman, and it's Dawood Abdullah Bey. All those are derivatives, and they all have been leaned and let his appellations. That I do know for a fact. And then those same sounding words in sovereign status is also is 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 actually who he is. But that has to be stated by him, and and this and and we and all of us. We call him the living. David and Dawood. They they're they're talking about a dead corpse that they created in all capital letters in black ink. And we're rebutting that. Because when that proper rebuttal happens and and then the things that come out of his mouth say, are match what we say, then no one can cuz no one can hold anyone. That's been the issue. That has been the issue. There's been war about identities in the past enactment. So we, 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 no matter what, um, no matter what supposed benefits are there, supposed benefits are there, we still must be ourselves regardless. We still must be ourselves and state that we are the ones who identify us and not any dead corpses. And so with that being the case, uh, feel free to uh, add our appellation to a personam jurisdiction um, affidavit for him. And we are in affirmation of it on the public record. This is Mom, Angelica Vettel's Bay, the Chief Justice for New York. We affirm. Um, um, not to stray too far, I'm asking a question concerning would it be advantageous for the United Nations and all the um, respective um, governments to do a document concerning property as well? We're all doing that and, and have been doing that, all of us, you, you all included. We've all been doing property documents. 
our, our it is important now where time management is concerned that we that we are specific all law is specific so when we state as the united states which is under the moroccan empire as always proper legal process and again legal process has to do with us and not any fake system uh where we're concerned that is the key so we could do another document where you, uh, the United Nations is concerned, but but our our assertion is that we're already doing it. This document right here is proof of that. Um, and then we're sharing it with the other nations and governments and heads of heads for states uh, to do the same thing. Use your ink and your paper to go ahead and specifically claim and proclaim properly the property. We must do that. Because I will say this about about all our processes. We must now demonstrate our processes. For example, we're talking about when we're talking about any type of process, let's say if we were demonstrating a conveyance, we must demonstrate that process in a manner that states that the conveyance is actually ours and that the domicile is actually ours and that the supplies are actually ours. We must demonstrate truthfully because some of us are having to demonstrate truthfully. We don't have any fiat to do anything, not even go to the grocery store. And there are more that are like that with us. So we're literally having to demonstrate, going out onto the land, getting the food and things, and um, using the supplies that we have to claim more supplies. So what are we doing? Conveying the buildings and things to ourselves and to, to, to the people, because it's a public place, all these buildings are public places, and then claiming supplies. We have to, we don't have a choice. And very soon, very soon, everyone's going to be in that position where there won't be any fiat to use, so we're going to have to demonstrate. Believe that. It's nothing to be scared of. In fact, we it's, it's like somebody, we, we got our lasso out and we just claiming things and putting it where it's supposed to be. We, we must. It's fine. And guess what? We've been doing that for a minute here. And the ancestors will not, not, not just give us one of what we're claiming. They give us multiple of what we're claiming, even down to something as simple as a banana. When we are faithful with one or two, they'll give us bunches more or plants or whatever it is that we, that we have. When we're when we're when we properly handle the property that we have currently, they automatically say, "Okay, she's a good steward of this. He's a good steward of that. Give them some more." It's it, I'm watching it in real time. Islam, I yield the floor. Islam, yes. Um, in the previous meeting. An empress had stated um, and mentioned a constable, and I didn't even know we had constables at this land. <laughs> so um, I looked it up, and constable, as it states in from just a Google search. Yeah, it's England. That's usually England. England and Canaan land has constables. Yes, though it says that from just a Google search, while constables primarily serve the courts, they belong to the executive branch of government. Constables are elected at the municipal level. However, 
state law governs constables and they have statewide authority. Thus, the title become became state constable. And then it says constables in the United States. And I did Google and find a um, an application for a constable in another state jurisdiction other than New York. So that that definition is is Babel. It's the Babylonian definition because it said that they start at that that they are the municipal level, but then it ended up being state level because municipal is, is generally cities. Um, a constable and a sheriff are 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 similar, or a sheriff and peace officer are similar. They they have the same, you know, they're the same in terms of what what they were what that office gov uh, governs. So it would it would be, you know, for us we here we're not going to worry about constables because we've already done documentation where sheriffs are concerned. Um, but if you're led to do it, Empress, by all means. Um, I just um, just was doing some research based upon the Empress and her statements. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just gathering information. So, um, did we address Empress Sasha? We've not spoken about her. Has has uh, anyone heard Islam. from her? Islam. I was expecting a call from her sister Nana, who mm -hmm. shared with me a few days ago that their visitation day is on Tuesday, and that her nephew, Sasha's son, would be visiting her. Mm -hmm. And so I've not received any information. I did call her while I was on the call here, but she was occupied with something, couldn't talk, mm -hmm. was a, expressing possible interest of joining, the, joining in with us tonight, but she hasn't been able to make it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in the meanwhile, we have completed the court action today, this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And so we'll... Yes, and we'll complete um, we'll complete the rest of the process as we go along. So we're so grateful for you. Well, let me just put it to you like this: um, we have so many hands <sighs> that have been in this. I can. We've got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and gratefully so. Uh, mm. This has been a learning journey for all of us. I'm so um, and so, and then too, uh, one of the uh, impacts of all of this is that it has drawn us together into the same space that we had normally had not been. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but with that, um, we have uh, Nawe with her hands on it. We have this oh, angel. It's done. If she got her hands on it, it's done. <laughs> and Nathan with his and her hands on it. It's okay. Long. Yeah, we just can go down the line, and yeah. uh, of course, even Dawood, uh, from the very beginning, yeah. uh, we've had we've had verbal contributions from others. I don't want to leave anybody out, but if I do, uh, it's not intentional. But at the same time, it's been a group uh, yeah. type of matter and yeah. participation. Okay, yeah. so. I will, uh, when I speak to her, and if she should supply anything of significance, uh, I will uh, I will share that around. Yeah. Islam, indeed. Thank you, Ayo. Beautiful, just beautiful. I'm just so grateful for all of you for the work that you're doing. I'm so grateful. Very, very grateful for your study, your competence, gratitude. Our nation is grateful. Islam. Because we've heard from the very beginning more saying, who's going to assist with things? Who's going to do this and who's going to do that? Well, 
the work is being done. The request by the nation is answered. It's remedied by the nation. And for us, that is monumental because even from the beginning, we were wondering who's going to help with all this work. And that's not even an issue anymore. That's not an issue because everyone is working for the most part. Islam. Islam nobility. I want to also raise the matter and the urgency of assisting um, Ra and the two heirs yeah. that continue in her presence. Islam. We are. Is we she, have, uh, she she's, here on the call? Yes. Yes, she's okay, on the call. Me. Her time has almost run out. But go ahead. Yeah. If you, if we could hear from her, that would be great. Again, because I believe we heard from her briefly a little while ago. Greetings. Greetings, Empress. Empress, mm. what, what, what would you, uh, do you have any information that you will for us to know? We did everything. Dawood has done everything. We have leaned. We have levied. We have sent the things to the county. We have receipts that they received it through the United through the uh, the the post service. Um, May I ask a couple of questions? Yes. About that, uh, and these are just uh, some information that that I was you know, thinking about previously when our first, when this conversation first came up, the the domicile that you were at, how was the domicile obtained? Was it by contract, so, a lease, or, or, or no. how was it obtained? So it was just a claiming of the land. This was done prior to... Um, Prior to Dawood being here um, in the, uh, in uh, the this particular place, yes. And so once he came and he saw what was happening, he did things the correct way. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if so I may clarify, from like, go ahead and just, I, I apologize for you. I'm sorry. So he removed the debt from the land. Mm -hmm. We did the discharge action. We did, like I said, the lien levy bond Mm -hmm. um, and and, um, and all all of those things. Mm -hmm. Um, The property was abandoned, and um, I came into the property and have been here since um, July. So you you were at the property first, and then he came afterwards. Is that correct? Okay. And when you claimed the property, you claimed it by way of so um, just just possession, mm-hmm. and there 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 was no contracts or anything. Beautiful. Beautiful that there were no contracts. This piece that we're that we have on the screen, where the deed is concerned, has the deed been restated? Yes. Okay. And, and it he, is. It is on the public. It is. No, don't put it in there, darling. The things that are important, we don't want to put in there. It has been put on the public record. So if, if anybody mm-hmm. if any if anybody wants to go to Scribd and um look up Sia Marie Rael, mm-hmm. um you will see and even if you Google you'll see the Elodio title 
Mm-hmm. Um, you'll see some of the things that we've already, um, you know, some things that are actually in the public already, mm-hmm. and um, um, the deed has been restated. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a, um, like I said, the um, the debt was removed. It was purchased um, through the. Uh, the trust and through the uh, Empire State, mm-hmm. like um, uh, I'm, 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 my heart is is full for Dabu, but I know that he is standing. So I will thank you. I am um um trying. I I am doing the breathing necessary in order to not be anxious. I, I, I understand that this is a text, mm-hmm. and I understand, as as Starlight says, there must be something that um, maybe we didn't do correctly. So... Um, well, no, 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 no. Let, let me clarify that. They... Who those who came, those who came came with a piece of paper or something that's going to point you exactly to where, whatever it is. It's not that you okay. all did anything wrong. It's that there's okay. there's somewhere there's there's something that told them they had a contract somewhere. And that just needs to be figured out. That's all it is. It's not that you did. In fact, you all, I will state that you all have done everything right because you're standing. Okay? This is a process. All of this is a process. That's why there was so much paper being flying around in the last era about property. One property could have hundreds of pieces of paper. However, there's somewhere there's a there's they they saw where there was a contract and that just whatever paper they acted on and they'll whatever that is they 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 put that on the record what they were acting on look you you can look at it and see where they felt like there was some type of a connection between their court and and justice Dawood. So what? Um, um, ha- I'm not sure if it's been shared. They've got a 2023 case number on a document that they um, shared, mm-hmm. and that's what they call themselves moving on. And that document will. However, have- we leaned. We leaned. We leaned that case. And did you put another case in its place? In other words, another judgment in its place? Which um, sure. Yes. Okay. The This county document, was the county notified? Was the, was the county system notified? Because it's just a system. They act on paper that comes out of a system. Okay. And our job is to is to make sure that system says what it's supposed to say by notifying that system, okay? And so there's something they. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even the case from last year, there was a person attached to that case who's been misidentified as Justice Dawu. So there is no person on the case it was a um it was a john doe case. john doe yeah i've got a copy i'll affirm what she's saying and john doe is a person but let me it's say this correct thank you for that bit of information because that's actually still pointing to the remedy the remedy is they 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 have they have not they're not saying he's not who he says he is. The, he has not conveyed to the system who he really is. See, they didn't take you, Empress. They took him. 
That means he has so, to put so his they, person, his right person, his living person there. He must put his living person there. Either his living person or he is the people and he's not surety. So his identity is what's being questioned by the system, not by them. It's by the paper that was spit out of the system. That's why they said they so said John Doe. John Doe. So, so we did we did um, state who we were when we did the court action. We did state in the court action that we that we were in the domicile um, so that the John Doe could be removed. Okay. Um, it is. It is my. So we were doing the court action language and the calling of the angels when he went to the door and did the court action. And so, so yeah. And so yeah. we were doing the court action. Be they they knocked the door down. We've got a video showing them knocking the door down. But um it's I I wasn't up there to actually see, but it's my thinking that it's because he did not move when they entered the domicile. Uh-huh. But, uh let me let me let me just ask you because I know where the issue I know where the issue is because it has to do with his identity. Okay. Was did you and he when you all did a document that conveyed the property was his appellation put or his sovereign born name his sovereign born appellation was was the property also conveyed to him? Um, it was conveyed to mm-hmm. the. It was conveyed to the government, and then the government sold it. It was um, the empire, um, uh, and then it was conveyed into um, his trust. So, so the government it had it, and then the government sold it. To, uh, in my mind, the government had it for a certain amount of time. The court action was done, and then the government sold it um, to my trust. I, I do believe. Was it his trust or your trust? It's leaving me. I think it may have gone to his trust first, but it is layered, meaning maybe my trust, his trust, then the state of Morocco or the federal government trust. It's it's layered. So that layering has to be looked at from your perspective so that you know the truth about the property. Because, see, again, as we stated, without even seeing the paperwork, we knew that there was something that had to do with his, who he is. And that layering that you're talking about, the the, the remedy is in that layering. Some of that layering, there's something going on with the layering and his and who he is in the process. That's why they took him and not you. It's him and his identity in the paperwork, in the paperwork that has to be sorted out by you all, not by them. They're just doing what a system told them to do. He is, he was the um the 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 justice so 
you must not have the paperwork in front of you. Um, um, so I don't have the paperwork in front of me. Um, they no. put things in bags I still have to find. Okay. And that's that's okay, Empress. I was just asking just for the sake of, of, of clarity. But we know for sure, this this we know without even having to having to see the paperwork. That that the different conveyances and then when you say the government sold it to him, which government sold it to him? So Because he has a Swampomac government, right? No, um, 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 the Empire State of Morocco, I believe. Okay, because it would actually be the United States that would sell it to him. Okay, is, so which, yeah. that's where commerce takes place, which is a much lower level than than the Empire State. The Empire okay. State has the whole earth really as as the empire. And then underneath the Empire State is, for example, the Moorish National Republic federal government and other governments that have, you know, stated on the public record by way of their actions that they are government. And then underneath that is that third level, the third heaven, as it were, is the United States, which is a, uh, is the United States for America, which governs the United States. So just so that's where the commerce and the money and stuff comes in at, because the whole estate belongs to us. But in order to keep the war from happening, we have a United States where those types of exchanges take place. That's what this document on the screen is about, is about property being properly conveyed. When he conveyed the property, did he notify the county, the county system yes. that and was it done by way of, let's say, a document like this, or was it on Moorish government letterhead? On Moorish, Mo Moorish. Um, um, so, so. Um, um, let me let me see what what's in here. Let me see. Because uh, um. see, if 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 it is lawful to do it on Moorish government letterhead. But then the system recognizes, and it's our system, our system recognizes properly restated deeds. Where so property some, is done. I know some of the documents were in blue, not on. Mm -hmm. I know some of the documents were in blue, and some of the documents were in red. Mm -hmm. So, um,. I would ask Empress that you that you do a, a deep study on the document so that you all can properly rebut whatever it is that they're stating. And again, they only they're they're only enacting taking him because they they're saying that the in the, the system doesn't know who he is. The system. That's why they say John Doe. The system doesn't know. They're not even saying that he's uh, their corpse, as it were. They're saying they don't know who he is. Okay. And so where the conveyance of the property is concerned, that's where the issue is. That needs to be simplified. The conveyance of the property needs to be simplified. Because right now it's it's a it's a lot of different things going on there. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit realm. I can almost see the paperwork also. He he does a lot of paperwork and it's it's great paperwork. The where the property conveyance is concerned, there needs to be clarity and then a deed put on there needs to be notification to the county that a proper deed Stating who's who's really at the property, the adult at the the adults at the property. So that would be you and he. Yes. At the property, the way any deed would say. 
except that okay. you all will be claiming the deed as a deed as a, uh, the property as property that is has been newly discovered as it were in other okay. words you see what i'm saying so you're not you're not taking the property from a court you're not taking the property from a custodian you're not taking it from a subject because they don't have it to give it's it's you and he claiming the property outright by the by a legal process you've already done it by lawful process okay you've done it by lawful process now it needs to be done by legal process which is what you see on the screen we don't use their forms and and their stuff we create our own and then you put you and he as uh you you can be the people who are the united states okay you and he by your your sovereign born appellation because that's what the system our system recognizes sovereign born appellation and then the law lawful part of the empire recognizes the bays the els the owls the alis the days the titles for nobility because nobility is much higher than just commerce so a deed a proper deed simplified okay uh, and you can say United States or whatever trust he wanted to put it in we say United States public trust deed for our properties because these are pu properties that the public will be coming in and out of you know this is for uh, this is for a, a major property but when you're talking about a domicile then it's going to be a private trust deed with you and he being the sole owners okay do, do, does that does that make uh is that uh have i spoken that clearly empress or or have i want to be sure that that there's clarity on on my end and yours regarding what what has taken place yes because um what we sent was that it was in my trust so yes you're saying to make a legal conveyance into our actual um appellation uh i'm i'm stating to make a legal conveyance uh, for example, we have here United States, a federal company owned by the people who are the United States for America. You see how we said that? So it will be your trust, and that is a trust owned by, and it would have your appellate, your your sovereign-born appellation and his sovereign-born appellation. Okay. There needs to be people that stand before all companies because we're the head of all companies and trust and everything. So you and he are the original creditors, trustors, fiduciaries, and attorneys with facts for the, your the trust, whatever trust name that is. And then you would state that it is a trust owned by your your sovereign born appellation and his sovereign born appellation and i know that some people don't don't like to put their sovereign born appellations on on the document when i say sovereign born appellation for me it would be not like to jury bay that's my that's my empire state of morocco appellation yes. my legal yes. appellation according to the our legal system is pauline denise ritchie that is that is the yes. heir in that system Okay, and so obviously your sovereign born appellation is on some of the paperwork. Obviously, yes. I, I know that without seeing the paperwork because of what happened. And then on his, some some of his paperwork is in Dawood and some of it is in his in David. Yes. And it has to match. That's what I'm stating. It must match. I knew that without seeing the paperwork 
because I because there are certain things that that must line up systemically so that the system when it when it spits out a piece of paper, then the subjects will know not to act a certain way. Okay, so we just will to clarify that and and thank you so much for for taking the time to 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 come and and commune with us regarding both you and your heirs and Justice Dawu because we love all of you. You are one with us. And the remedy for this is, is always going to be with all of us. You're the remedy for what has taken place, Empress. You're the answer. We're all the answer together. Islam. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that has added some clarity to what's happening. What's happened? The, there needs to be unity in the paperwork in terms of identity. Islam. Islam. We affirm. Islam. Islam. Uh, it doesn't take the ancestors long to to see and and state and tell us all because we can go by what we hear uh by what we hear and then the ancestors will will give us through our pineal through our third eye uh the remedy for anything that's going on in our nation anything you know for for justice Dawu we know that he is competent and well able to get through this test and we we send him and you empress and your heirs we know that we are one with you all through this and it's 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 a matter of continuing to i would say take a back to that fake system but we're not at war so we'll just state what we stated, Islam. Are there any other questions, comments, wisdom regarding anything that we've stated thus far? Any questions, comments, wisdom? Islam, Islam, Islam nobility. I was just sitting by, sitting back, just listening. Uh, so once the deed has been crafted and uh, autographed, uh, Sister Ra should send it, notify, uh, record it where with the subjects, so she'll know. Send it to the county system, Fulton the county. county Courthouse. Courthouse, the Superior Court. The Superior Court. Mm -hmm. Islam makes sense. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, she's she's been she's had a tough day today. I can only imagine. So. Yes, and we we can feel the energy there. We can hear it in her voice, and we send her strength, and we send peace, and we send our highest honors for the demonstrations that they're doing. So me and the Phoenix will we'll assist. We'll assist in that. Me and Phoenix. Craft that yeah, for Fulton County Superior uh, Court, uh, properly stated, of course. Yes. Uh, I don't know if uh, Daru Dawu did a fiduciary resignation letter affidavit on them or not. Uh, I guess we should do it. Yeah, that's that's them. I pulled them up earlier today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, they're putting mm -hmm. more up everywhere. <laughs> yes, they are. In fact, <laughs> on the other one, a Fulton County magistrate, that's the one I pulled up, but not this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a sister there. Uh, Cassandra Kirk is, is her, her name. Mm -hmm. You Did you know that you all are actually introducing them to who they are as well through this process? Hmm. 
Yes. Because they still don't know. Yes. There was a superior court, etc. But when they see something, yes, that we're the superior court. And when they see something come through that is properly written, they must honor it because it's a system. We're not even talking to them. We're talking okay. to a system. The system, system. See, they just, that's, why, that's all they do is just get up in the morning, dress up in costume, go up there, pull some paperwork from a, from a system. Yes. And look at the paperwork, and whatever the paperwork says that came out of that system, that's what they act on. And that's why honoring of our own systems by restating everything works. That's why it works. Mm. Mm. Islam. They're just looking at paper. Islam. Um, if I may. Um the word fixture came up in my uh, due diligence for restating words, and as it's read in the first edition, a fixture is a personal chattel subst subst substantially affixed to the land, yes. but which may afterwards be lawfully removed therefrom by the party affixing it or his representatives without the consent of the owner of the freehold. Personal chattels which have been annexed to land and which may be afterwards severed and removed by the party who has annexed them, or this or his personal respect representatives against the will of the owner of the freehold. The word fixture as acquired to the popular meaning of chattels which have been annexed to the freehold but which are removable at will of, uh, of the persons who annex them. Fixtures does not necessarily import things. And then it goes, chattels which be, be by being physically annexed or affixed to real estate become a part of and necessary to the freehold and the property of the owner of the land. Um, so once I digested it, because it is a lot to digest, just what a fixture is, because I had to get rid of a lot of the programming. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, chattel is nothing more than paper. And then I had to come to the knowledge of knowing what annexed means. Yeah. And, <laughs> and that was a fun venture. And so, um, so once we understand this part, a fixture is a personal chattel substantially affixed to the land by restating the documents. And, that, and making them lawfully and legally, you remove the fixture. Yeah. yeah. And so the fixture well, still has nothing to fixture. We could manifest the fixture as well if we choose to. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it states that it's an attachment. But also the, the um, fixture has necessarily nothing to do with um, property. Not, uh -huh. not, not really. Because okay. fixture is um, something that is adhered to by annex. And then when you know what annex means, that means just joining. You yeah. join the document to the land, and um, that would be, from our perspective, a launching. But from the other perspective, it was known as, you know, a fixture. And... Um, Noble has stated it's a part and parcel, um, and such. So the uh, and it is removable by law. And so, well, who, we know we have a law, and the just we. So when we do our court actions, and such, it is removable. And it says without the consent of the owner of the freehold. And my word, when I looked up the word freehold, because it is a word, and it also is two locations over here on this side of the, the contiguous states, 
we have a freehold New York and freehold New Jersey. And then when I got to processing it, I said, wait a minute. New York and New Jersey is essentially still land of Nod. And that's one contiguous land mass. So um, the freehold was, um, as when I talk about the definition, in, in the whole purpose, freehold was created because all land is still public, right? So they created this 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 word and in this this process. So the original one who will it's only the subject. The subject would acquire the land from the government, which is the public, and then it would become an estate. And then the the one named on the estate would then have an heir, and then the heir would be the one to take the land and hold it after the original estate person had the estate. And then after the heir expired, then the land would go into freehold. This was all based upon the definition, right? So um, it's, it's, uh, it's something. And so I had restated the definition of freehold because it was, as far as I'm concerned, it was incompetent and ambiguous for the purpose of it had the word undetermined. And the word undetermined was because when they were referring to the person, subject rather, they were, because when it comes to life, nobody knows the determination of how long somebody will remain on this plane. So that's the only reason why the undetermining was there. And they didn't even go and define why the undetermining was even mentioned in the de confines of the definition. So that had to be cleaned up and given, you know, expiration as far as once the original heir has um, expired, then the land goes into freehold and it was restated for 50 years. And then after that, the land reverts back to the public. And which also, is really, which is really just probate court for us, because the probate court, which is our probate court. In other words, if there's no living will or there's no will, then it goes back to the will of the people. And the courts handle the people's business because the court is the people. Mm -hmm. Also, I was I was elated to see that public refers to um, body politic. Yes. Yeah. Now, when I started to man I mean, meditate on that word, I was like, well, good golly, no wonder things was deemed private <laughs> and, and commercial. Because with public, then the body politic is there, and then, you know, you have true governance. So yeah. public, let me see if I can get um, the word as read from the Black's Laws Dictionary. And while you're looking that up, political status is all that has been enacted in the funny mirror. It's been political status. And so for us to activate the public treasury and begin conveying property by way of the United States Treasury, which is our public treasury because we're the creditors, uh, that is what stops the fraud of people pretending to be something they're not in terms of foreign fakeness. It's long, yes. So I, I found it in the states. Like, pertaining to a state, nation, or whole community, proceeding from or relating to or affecting the whole body of people or an entire community, open to all, notorious, common to all or many, general, open to common use. And then it also says, 
a distinction has been made between the terms public and general. They are sometimes used synonymous. The former term is applied to strictly to that which concerns all citizens and every member of the state, while the latter concludes a lesser, though still a large portion of the community. A noun public denotes the whole body politic or the aggregate of the citizen of a state, district, or municipality. So I just stopped after I saw denotes a body politic. Yeah. Well, I was that's like, our ancestors had us to do the work that we've done thus far in terms of, uh, you know, activating the public treasury and 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 putting things on the public record with regard to the people. The people is the public. And no one was really, you know, in terms of that, uh, there there needed to be proper rebuttal. Islam. OP. Uh, Justice Nathan, were you going to say something? Oh, he said no. He he wasn't. He's he's typing away, creating a document. Okay. He said you heard his energy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, I was gonna pull up the word public uh, really quickly. That is really what that is. That has been the work where we're concerned is the public. Here it is. And the definition is just pages long in Black's Law Dictionary. And there are several, but we're interested in the noun, the aggregate of the citizens of a state, district, or municipality. And again, uh, we govern far above the citizen level at all dimensions. But the citizens cannot be here if there's no one over them governing them. And that that someone must be us, which is what we're doing, what we've been doing, is governing citizens and governing ourselves and governing our resources. So I know that this might seem like a lot of paper, but but the only place that fakes and frauds were were doing any acting was because of paper. They only existed on paper previously, and so we we use our paper to do the dominion to be the dominion over our land. Are there any other questions, comments, wisdom regarding anything that we stated thus far? Any other questions, comments, wisdom? We're sending our highest honors to Empress Shasha while she's being tested, Justice Dawood while he's being tested, and to all of those who may be afraid to be tested, we send you energy as well because one way or the other it happens. Uh, that's what this is about uh, in terms of the Great Awakening is us standing and being strong to govern and, and, and deeming ourselves fit to govern, which we are 100%. With that being stated, if there's nothing further from this United Nations, um, thank you for those that are doing the documentation for Justice Dawood. Uh, again, we, we, we are happy to, to tribute to that any way that we can to include uh, taking the document from, our, from Empress Shasha's um, demonstration and applying the same principles uh, where Justice Dabu is concerned. Peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine heirs, Islam. Islam, peace and grand rising. Islam. Islam. Islam.